so this is the current mess that I am dealing with. Yeah, this is how my living room is looking right now. <laughs> hey guys, so it's been a while. Let's chat and catch up a little bit. How have you been? <laughs> I've been so tired. Yeah, I haven't posted a YouTube video in over a week now. It's just been chaotic over here. And it's funny because it I'm sure seems to you guys that I just haven't been around and haven't been doing anything, but I've been working harder than ever and like busting my ass over here on other things. And I feel like my YouTube videos have kind of like fell to the back burner a little bit as a result because I've just been like all over the place. But yeah, today has been, I didn't work at the salon today, but it's been a work day as far as like video production goes. Let me get my little tripod hook you up to that so I don't have to keep holding the camera. Let me fill you in. I have been working on creating online courses for hairstylists, sharing different color techniques, and I've recorded three of them so far. I've been filming them in my apartment, and I'm gonna share with you guys like more details and all that. I'll let you know where you can go to purchase these courses, and all that once I have everything figured out because I'm still, <laughs> I, I still have to edit everything. The actual website itself is like halfway done being designed, sort of. It's, there's so much that goes into it. I've been recording them in my living room and it just gets very messy and it's been so hectic because I have two cameras set up because I want like, you know, a straight, forward shot and then I want like another camera getting like close-up shots of what I'm doing. So between having the two different cameras and like one camera will start overheating, the other one the battery will die, the other one the memory card gets full, and then I have to worry about lighting. And you guys know in my apartment, if you watch any of my sit down videos, you know that I live on a very loud busy street and so every few minutes whenever there's a loud noise from outside I have to like stop and I don't have central air in my apartment and the air conditioner is so loud so I've been working with it turned off and it gets so hot in here because it's been like 90 plus degrees the last few weeks it's just been a hot freaking mess and like trying to balance all that stuff plus focusing on what I'm doing and actually doing a good job and explaining what I'm doing and making sure that I'm in focus the whole time and that the camera is focused on the hair and not focusing on my arm or... and then having to edit these videos because I have footage from two different cameras so trying to like piece everything together and adding music and trying to make them as professional as I can. Yeah, it's just it's taking a lot of work, especially just doing it all by myself. But I am really, really excited about it and I just can't wait to share it with you guys and to be able to like officially announce it and it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be well worth it. So anyway, it is a mess in my living room right now. I need to put everything away and clean up, but I also sat down earlier and I filmed a YouTube video because I have a sponsorship and it's due, what is today? Oh, I have to post it, today's the 4th. I have to post it for the 10th. Oh, okay, well that's next Monday. So I guess I have a few days, but I have to, it has to be, it has to go live next Monday. But with sponsorships, when you're working with a brand, you have to upload the video but set it private and then email it to the brand so that they can review it first and then make sure it's good and let you know if they have any edits. So you have to have it ready to submit it to them a few days ahead of time. So that way if they do have any edits, you can fix it and make whatever changes um, before the date that it needs to go live. Even though I don't have to post it till next Monday, I need to submit it at least by like tomorrow. So I've been editing that, it's almost done. It just needs a few final touches. Oh, but before I forget, I did start vlogging like two weeks ago. 
I think. I, I don't know. I have vlog footage. Let, let me see. It's on my computer. What do we got? Ah, okay. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I have some vlog footage from two weeks ago at the salon, at work, doing my thing. So I will insert that here. Good morning, happy Friday. Today I thought that I would vlog because I'm doing something a little bit different at work. My friend Jess, who has been my friend since fourth grade, we've known each other practically forever. She's coming into the salon to get her tape and extensions moved up. So maybe like six weeks ago by now, I put tape and extensions in for her and it's not something that I specialize in. It's not a service that I offer at the salon where I work. But, I mean, like, I know how to do them, you know? I've had them myself a bunch of times. So she wanted to try them out for the first time, so I agreed to do them for her. And now at this point, they're grown out. So she's coming in. We're going to touch up her roots, bring her blonde highlights up higher, remove the extensions, put new tape on them, and then move them up higher and reinstall them. So I thought that would be something worth vlogging and something that you guys would be interested in seeing because I feel like lately my work vlogs have just been a lot of the same kind of thing a lot of balayage so this is something a little different i thought it was also kind of the perfect time to vlog because i've just been having a really blah week and i feel like a lot of the times in my videos i talk about how much i love what i do and i look forward to going to work and it's always just like very positive and upbeat for the most part but at the end of the day i'm still a human being and it's still work and i definitely have those days or those weeks <laughs> like in this case where I'm just like not feeling my best and I just I don't know so as much as I am excited for today at the same time I'm kind of like that bed over there is looking pretty good <laughs> I got my period earlier in the week TMI and I've just been really tired and bloated and have cramps and just like Oh, I just feel so blah and gross. All right, so I have some extra time before work, luckily. So I'm going to head out now and go grab like an iced coffee and some food or something because I went away for a few days over the weekend and I didn't go grocery shopping because I figured, oh, I'm going to go away. And then this whole week I kept saying, all right, I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to go grocery shopping. But I just felt like shit and I just didn't want to. Like I wanted to just come straight home after work every day. So I haven't gone grocery shopping and I have pretty much nothing in my fridge. Like very empty. <laughs> So as you can see, her tape and extensions were getting pretty grown out and they were a little bit matted and she had a lot of darkness, especially towards the back because it had been a while since she got a full highlight. The last time I did her color, we just did a partial. So I first started by removing the tape and extensions. We have this really nice uh, like adhesive remover spray. So I went around and I just sprayed them all with that. It just loosened up the tapes and then they just glided right out of her hair really easily. And then I had to go through, of course, and brush out all the tangles, remove all the residue from her hair. That was quite the process. see all of the hair laid out. I tried to keep it somewhat organized because I did cut some layers into them when I initially installed them. So I shampooed her hair to get all of that remover and tape residue out of her hair first and then I had to blow dry it because then I was doing a full foil on her. So I did that. I didn't record that process because my camera battery kept dying, but I just did like a full head of little baby lights. And then while her hair was processing, I went to the back and removed the tape from her extensions. I just had to go one by one and peel the little tapes off. It was very annoying um, and my fingers were so sticky by the end of it. And I'm sure there's probably a more efficient way to do all of this, but like I said, I don't do extensions ever. I don't specialize in them. So 
If you are a hair extension specialist and you want to comment some tips down below, go ahead. But this is just something I was doing one time for fun. So I washed the extensions because of course they had a bunch of residue on them and then I had to blow dry them. And this was the final result of her color before we applied the extensions. You can see I got rid of all that darkness in the back and her hair naturally is pretty long, but her ends are just very thin and fine. Not even really damaged, but just she doesn't have like the fullest, thickest hair. So from there, I just went through and reapplied the extensions. And if you don't know, tape and extensions are basically just these really thin little pieces of hair, as you can see, and they have adhesive on one side. And you just take a really thin piece of natural hair and you just sandwich it in between two of the tape in pieces. They're pretty simple to apply. The trick is really just knowing where to put them on the head so that they sit naturally and comfortably and you won't be able to see them. And then this was the final result. Her hair came out so good. It was a very long, exhausting process, but well worth it. And it was nice to get to spend some time with my friend because she lives two hours away. I'm not her regular hairstylist. She just lets me play around once in a while when we get to see each other. Good morning, happy Saturday. Today, <laughs> I'm still just, I don't know, in this blah kind of mood. I don't know what it is. I think when I come home from work today, I just need to have like a self-care day and just do my hair nice, shave, exfoliate, do a face mask, all that kind of good stuff. Cause like, I just need something to pull myself out of this rut that I've been in this week. I just, I don't know, like this morning, I literally stayed in bed until the last possible minute and then I just got ready really quick and I'm not feeling my cutest, but it is what it is. I don't got time to do much else. So I put my glasses on today because my contacts were kind of irritating me. These are from Firmu. I will link these exact ones down below if you're interested. Same earrings from yesterday, just threw my hair up in a messy ponytail because I didn't feel like dealing with it. <laughs> this shirt is from Zara. I just tucked it into my jeans and these are high-waisted mom jeans from American Eagle. I feel like I'm gonna be really hot in these today. I would love to wear shorts today, but I didn't shave my legs. So I only have one client today and I'm looking forward to seeing her and doing her hair. She's come in a few times before, so I already know her. I already know her hair. And that always makes things easier, especially like on the days when I'm lower energy. All right, I'll see you at the salon. So my client on this day, believe it or not, we normally do a very, very ashy, like mushroom brown color on her. But it had been so long since I saw her because of quarantine. And just from life and the color fading and her hair naturally getting brassy from washing it and whatnot, um, her hair was pretty gold when she came in. So we needed to remove that warmth. And she also wanted to bring the light color up higher. So I went through and I did a full head of foliage on her. I just did T slices along her entire head, not leaving any of her hair out. And you can see she lightened pretty nicely. I lifted her to about a level nine. And then I was gonna just do our usual ash brown, but then we ended up going with this really smoky silver color instead and I love it. It's so pretty, she has so much hair. Good morning, it's the next day. I actually need to get ready and head out soon. I'm going to get a Brazilian wax today, and then while I'm out, I want to stop at Cosmoprof, which is the professional only beauty supply store, and get some things because I have a really exciting project in the works. So if you guys are following me on Instagram on my hair page, I had posted something a few weeks ago asking if you would be interested in me offering education and doing like online courses and it got a really positive response. So that's what I'm working on. So I ordered some new equipment. I mean, the new camera that I've been vlogging on is one of the things, but I also got a little stool so I could have live models and I can like easily move them around. I have a mannequin head and a mannequin tripod that I'm borrowing from work. 
I got a new tripod for my camera. This one is a lot taller so that I can get some shots like from over my shoulder so that way the camera will be able to see what I'm doing like as if you were standing behind me. And you can see more of a close up of what I'm doing. And I also have a website that I was working on earlier this week, just designing it and getting it like all set up, filling out the information on it. And I'm very excited. So it's not gonna be on YouTube, it's gonna be on a separate platform. So I think I'm gonna start out just by posting like three courses maybe just to kind of see how it goes. And then if everything goes well, I'm going to of course expand and add more. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna continue working on this week. So today, like I said, I'm gonna go to Cosmoprof because I just need to get a few supplies because I am gonna be filming everything here in my apartment, not at the salon. So I'm gonna be supplying all of my own color and products and all that. Okay, stop number one. Got done with my wax. Stopped at Starbucks across the street. I normally get an iced coffee and I'll add just like a couple pumps of the cinnamon dolce syrup and then add half and half, but I decided to ask for the like sweet foam stuff on top. Such a good choice. Mm-hmm. God, everything is just so weird now, though. Like, it's so different because of the pandemic. Like, you know, obviously you have to wear your masks inside everywhere, but now at the wax place, you can't even, like, walk in there if you have an appointment. You have to scan the code that's on the door that then opens up a text message and you have to type in your name and send it to them so that then the front desk can get you checked in and then they will text you and tell you when you can come in. So anyway, now I'm gonna head to Cosmoprof. I have a list on my phone of everything that I need from there. So, see you in a bit. I'm home now. Apparently, all of the rude, entitled assholes were shopping at Cosmoprof today. <laughs> I get there and there's a woman walking in at the same time as me, she's in front of me, and she didn't hold the door for me at all. Like I was directly behind her, the door pretty much just like shut in my face. And I was like, okay, I know that you saw me because it's like we walked up at the same time. It's not like I was just behind her and she had no idea. And then she goes to get a cart. And again, I'm waiting behind her to get one as well. When she pulled her cart out, another one was like stuck to it and was coming out with it. And she like pulls them apart, puts the other cart, pushes it all the way back. I'm like, lady, I'm, I'm clearly standing here because I am going to get a cart too. I don't know. And then when I'm leaving, I have these two big heavy bags in my hands and there's somebody trying to come in. So I hold the door open for her. Doesn't even say thank you, doesn't give any kind of acknowledgement, just walks in. Like, what is with people? Just no, like, common decency. Anyway, um, I thought I would do a little haul and show you the stuff that I got at Cosmoprof because I got a lot of stuff. And it's just making me even more excited to start filming these courses. So, I got a tub of Paul Mitchell Blonde Skylight. This is a clay lightener. So this is what I like to use when I do like my freehand balayage technique. So that is gonna be one of the first few courses that goes up. And then I needed some more developers. So I got a bottle of 20 volume and a bottle of 30 volume. And then I got some Paul Mitchell Demi Color. I lately have really, really been loving Red Can Shades EQ for my toners. Um, but these are pretty similar. They just don't have as wide of a shade selection. Um, but Cosmoprof does not carry Redken. Only Salon Centric does. And Salon Centric is closed today. And the closest one to me is like almost an hour away anyway. So, but these work just as well. So I got the shade 8N, 9V, and 9G. And then I got some styling products. So I got the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. This is my favorite hairspray, hands down. I use this at the salon on every single client. It gives nice holds without making your hair hard and crunchy. It's still like movable and it's just like, it just gives this nice texture and I, Love it. And then I also got the Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo. 
also love this and use this at the salon. This I got mostly just for myself. And then I also got the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Pump Me Up. This I also use on my clients at the salon all the time. This just like pumps out a little powder and it adds a lot of nice volume like up at the root. Um, I use this at home on myself as well. And then I got the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Restorative Styling Oil. Then I got a box of long foils from Framar. And then I got a roll of balayage film, which is basically the same thing as like cling wrap. And I was considering just doing that for the sake of professionalism. This thing... $20 which is ridiculous to me because it's literally just clear plastic wrap but hey okay. it's a tax write-off right so that's everything that I got I have all my supplies now so now we are officially caught up the rest of the night I'm just gonna be sitting here at the computer editing wash my face at some point make dinner I, I need to do that so I will see you in the morning good morning Happy Wednesday. I'm about to head out for work and my outfit today is extremely bland and simple because I'm just doing dark color today. My one client, I did a foliage on her like a month or so ago and she just wants to kind of tone it down. So I'm just doing like a darker gloss on her. And then my second client is a color retouch and gloss with a haircut and she likes her hair black 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 so i didn't want to wear anything cute or colorful and risk ruining it because her hair is also very very long and i tend to like throw color all over the place when i'm working so decided i would just go with an all black outfit keep it simple so even if i do get color on myself it won't be a big deal and then i have these animal print slides from target and then after work I have a bunch of errands to run. I have a lot of stuff that I need to return. I have an online order that I have to pick up from American Eagle. Then I need to come back here and clean. I still never straightened up my living room, so. Um, I'm definitely getting no-showed right now. What a day it's been already. So I did my first client today. I knew that she wanted to go darker and still keep some dimension, but the pictures that she was showing me had even more darkness. So I couldn't just like gloss over the highlights that she already had and just make them a little bit darker because she didn't want that much lightness so i did a reverse balayage on her basically and i went through and i covered up majority of her blonde but then i just left out a few pieces here and there and whenever you are making hair darker especially she wanted to basically go back to her natural which her natural is like as dark brown as you can possibly get and her hair was like a level nine which is very light blonde and I couldn't just like throw a dark brown on top of that because it would have just turned like green and dull and mucky and it wouldn't have like taken. So you need to fill the hair first whenever you're doing something like that. And basically what that means is, you know, when you're lightening the hair, you're removing all the pigment. You're taking away the red and the orange and the gold. So to make it darker and to make it a nice color and for it to hold, you have to put all that pigment back in. So you have to add in the red and the orange and gold and whatnot. So, um, you know, it's a little bit more complicated. I did that and that went well. That color took really nicely. And then I went to go do a gloss just on those few light pieces to make them like a light to medium brown just to like you know still keep a little bit of dimension have like a little bit of like some pops of highlights and it just like wasn't taking the color or like it looked like it took it at the, at the bowl so i thought it was good so i washed it out i brought her back over to my chair and then i started blow drying her and it just looked gray and dull and i was like what is happening so i ended up having to tone her three different times because it just like wasn't taking and then the last time i was like okay 
I think this is good, but I think it's just that the lighting in here is throwing me off because we still have like these fluorescent overhead lights that are like not the most flattering. So I blow dried her, I styled her, and I was just like crossing my fingers. And I was like, I hope that when we go outside, it looks beautiful. And we did, and it was, and I was like, thank God. Her hair came out so beautiful. I'm so happy with the results of it, but it ended up just like being a little bit more of a project than I anticipated. And I don't know, I was just like a little bit in panic mode and I had to ask my boss like, why do you think, like, why is it not taking? What should I use inside? Cause at one point I used like straight up freaking orange on it and it just like wasn't accepting anything. So I ended up just using like a different type of color like a totally different line and that finally took and it was good but I just wanted to share that because I know I have a lot of people who follow me that are either in beauty school still or fresh out of school and you guys always comment on my pictures on Instagram and are like complimenting my work and I just want to let you know that I still have my moments sometimes where I have a little bit of a freak out and like things aren't going right and I kind of panic and I have to ask for help and there's nothing wrong with that so like don't freak out just always be honest like I straight up told my client I was like yeah these pieces are looking kind of gray they're they're just like not accepting the color I'm gonna retone you I'm so sorry I know this is annoying but I just want to make sure that it's done right and it looks good before you leave and she was fine with that like she appreciated the honesty try to stay calm try to stay confident and just be honest because we're just humans and th that stuff happens but I then was panicking a little bit because it was taking longer than I thought I originally thought I was gonna have like a pretty decent gap between her and my second client of the day and then I didn't I had literally like five minutes before my second client and then I was panicking because <laughs> she's booked for a color retouch with a gloss and a haircut and my dumbass forgot my scissors at my apartment because I had brought them home to do like the tutorial stuff that I've been doing. Didn't even end up using them, so that was pointless. Luckily, I live very close to the salon, so I was like, I'm just gonna rush home really quick, grab them, come right back. Did that, I'm like sweating, my heart is racing, I get here, and she didn't even end up showing up anyway. So I did that for nothing, panicked for nothing, was rushing for nothing. To be honest, I'm not even really mad about it because I just feel like tired and blah and I'm hungry. I am gonna go run my errands. I have stuff to return, like I said. Um, and I'm gonna get something to eat while I'm out too. My battery is dying, wonderful. So I will just see you when I get back to my apartment and I'll show you the stuff that I got. It's a few hours later, I'm home now. I am looking rough. I need to just get in the shower. I feel so gross. So the first stop that i made was old navy because my mom had ordered something and she asked me to return it for her while i was out so while i was there i figured let me just like peruse a little bit and i saw that they had sandals on sale for ten dollars so i got these cute little slides because if you guys have been watching my vlogs and seeing my outfits you know that i just wear the same like slip on sandals from target all the time and i figured why not get some in black as well? And then I stopped at American Eagle because I had ordered this top online. I had a bunch of coupons like from my rewards and stuff. So I ended up getting this top for $3. <laughs> and it, I mean, it's very simple, but I thought it looked really cute. Just a one shoulder little crop top. Feels really soft and like good quality. Everybody in the reviews online said that it's thick enough that you can wear it without a bra. So I was like, Perfect. Then I went to Abercrombie and Fitch. It can be like hit or miss. I'm not into the really like branded kind of stuff, but occasionally they'll have like just really cute girly things. So I saw these wide legged pants. They're like a really lightweight linen material and they were on sale for 50% off. And then I got a crap ton of stuff from Bath and Body Works. I had purchased a whole bunch of stuff like a couple months ago and I was obsessed with the rose scent, like rose water and ivy, and then the love from the aromatherapy, which I think is like vanilla and rose, obsessed. Like I wanted rose scented everything for the longest time and now I'm just so sick of it. So I had 
three wallflowers, three body soaps, and three hand soaps all in that rose scent. And I was like, I am just, I am over it. So what's nice is that Bath and Body Works, even though I didn't have my receipts anymore, you can exchange things for a different scent if you don't like it. Um, and the bottles I had were not opened or anything. So, it, you know, I didn't think it would be a big deal anyway. But so I went and I just exchanged a bunch of stuff because I just wanted to try some different scents and like change it up a little bit and get some fall stuff too. So I ended up getting the Sunrise Yoga Body Wash and Foam Bath. Um, this is one of their new aromatherapy scents and it says it's mandarin, spearmint, and juniper berry to inspire balance and vitality. And it smells really good in the bottle. It's so hard in the store to smell stuff because you have to keep your mask on. Mm, yeah, this one smells really good. This is the Energy Aromatherapy. It's orange and ginger. I think this is going to be the one that I use next because I actually just finished a bottle of body wash. And then this is the Sleep Aromatherapy. It's California Lavender, Sage, and Geranium. I don't know what that is, but it smells really good. Then I got three hand soaps that I exchanged as well. I got Almond Blossom, which smells amazing. Oh my God, I love almond scented anything. And then I got Purely Clean, which is Coconut Eucalyptus. This is a perfect like year round scent. And then I got Pumpkin Cupcake. And then I exchanged three wallflowers. So I got Leaves, which is like a staple fall scent from there. Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, and The Perfect Autumn. And then I had a coupon for a free item, so I got Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Hand Cream. And I got two small candles. So I got Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Pumpkin Apple. So now I'm gonna just take a shower, make some dinner, chill and relax clean up this living room finally. I just had dinner. I finished editing my video that I was working on yesterday. So I have that uploading currently. And now I am about to turn on the Mile Higher podcast. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to Mile Higher podcast. And I am gonna listen to this while I clean up this mess in the living room. So I'm gonna time lapse you so you can watch me do it. better and I lit my pumpkin pecan waffles candle it smells so good in here I definitely need to do like a thorough deep cleaning and like vacuum dust mop all that kind of good stuff but I'm gonna save that for the weekend I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here I will start a new vlog tomorrow so thank you guys so much for watching if you like these vlogs and you want to see more behind the scenes of my personal life and my work life and all that kind of stuff. Give the video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.